Hello, my name is Craig J. Davis and welcome to my channel. I am now back on YouTube. When YouTube did take down my previous by one video, where somehow I broke their community guidelines again, um, I became f full of ego and pride. And Satan used that, that pride against me to never use YouTube again. Ah, oh, the dumps. Pity me. But no, I've come to realise that, as the old saying goes, why cut off your nose to spite you, your f face? Because uh, YouTube can be a useful tool. And I've now decided to keep a, I've now decided to keep a YouTube for my Christian sermons as God has told me to do. And I will and in future I will keep it a bit shoot to talk about all this coronavirus nonsense. So yes. That is what I will do. Um it's been a long it's uh, I I'm in, in making this video in the evening because it's been very hot. It's been very hot, and please uh, forgive me. I am incredibly, th I am incredibly thirsty. I got my, uh, uh, I got my uh, jug here, and my chalice. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of uh, water. If if only it was ale. Aha, skull. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I just got cup of water I'm trying to get a light source here but anyway okay right in this video I'm going to be talking about the Amazon rainforest and that I've and that I've read a, a recent article and what I have discovered is uh, is very alarming okay so if you turn with me to the Bible, if you've got your Bibles uh, with you, I read from the English Standard Version. Uh, if you turn to uh, 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 10, that's uh, 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of um, money is a root of all kinds of evils it is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves many pangs i'll read that again chapter one uh, sorry one timothy chapter six verse ten for the love of uh, um, i think it switch us off now right that's better okay right for the love of a bunny is a root of all kinds of evils. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. Now, what you have to understand here, right, is don't take the scripture out of context. Because a, 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 a money itself isn't evil. A money can be a useful tool, and it is a useful tool. It can, you know, it can, it can help you to put a, a money away for a rainy day. It can help you to to pay off your bills and your debts. It can help you to put food on the table. It can help you to keep a roof over your head. And if one has got a job. If one is working, then people will appreciate money a lot more because they are working, they keep themselves busy, they're not idle, and they are getting something at the end of it. And of course, their, their reward is their finances. However, like everyone else that God has created, because of our sin, it can be abused. 
people can become greedy and and once people become greedy and want to become rich and of course that's perfectly understanding who doesn't want to become rich but the point is when you start to love uh, money more than God, once you start to put uh, a money first before God, then that becomes an an idol. And what the scripture there is saying, because if I read it again at the end, and I will begin to the Amazon rain for, uh, for us, so bear with me because you probably thinking what does this sermon got to do with the Amazon rainforest? Well, I'm I'm getting it right. What one to chapter six verse ten, right? I'll just um I'll just read the end of it. For the it is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced cells with many pangs. Yeah. Some have wandered away from the faith. Some, right? A lot of Christians who have become so in love with money that they put it before a God. In essence, they realise it or not, they did before a God. And that's what's happening in the Amazon forest. For years, for decades, Large, big, corrupted companies have been defrosting, have been de, have been yeah, have been um, have been deforest, have been deforestating, and burning down the trees of the Amazon rainforest for decades, and decades, and decades, and decades. And it has now reached a point where so many trees have been cut down that now, for the first time in Earth's history, the Amazon rainforest is given off more CO2, that is carbon, that is carbon dioxide, more than it can absorb. Which, of course, will result in less oxygen being pumped into the air. Now, yes, all vegetation, you know, um, it gives off oxygen. Even even your own grass in your own back garden gives off oxygen. But, but it is the Amazon rainforest that gives off the a majority of the oxygen in the air. Atmosphere. To use a euphemism, it is the Earth's lungs. And it now seems that for the first time in history, in Earth's history, the Earth's lungs have got emphysema. And yet, you would think that this would be a big wake up call to the Brazilians who are cutting down the, the Amazon rainforest now. Oh, wouldn't you? You would think that this would, would set the bells ringing and they will stop and say, OK, well, hang on. Now the Amazon rainforest is now a given more carbon dioxide than it can observe, or absorb. Perhaps now we had a better stop. But no, they won't. They'll still keep on cutting down the Amazon rainforest even now. Right. Yes, the Amazon rainforest is is huge. The um, um the a majority of the forest is in Brazil, but it isn't just in it isn't just in Brazil. I wrote it, it down here somewhere. Okay, the Amazon rainforest covers Brazil, uh, uh, Bolivia, Peru. Eguito, I think that's how you pronounce it, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and the French Iguana. And the Amazon, right, the Amazon is a vast area that spans eight rapidly developing countries. 
one in known species on Earth live in the Amazon rainforest. Half of the half yeah sorry half of of the planet's remaining tropical forests four thousand one hundred miles of winding rivers two point six square miles of the amazon of the amazon basin which is about forty percent of south america it is huge but it's not l limitless the Amazon rainforest doesn't last for forever. The Amazon rainforest does have edges. So we cannot carry we cannot carry on cutting down trees and burning the landscape forever. And something that doesn't last forever is not sustainable. But see what greed has taught me, right? Greed does not only make someone destructive, it makes someone stupid. Yes, I can understand people wanting to be rich. Yes, I can understand people loving money. But what good is a bunny if you're dead? When planet Earth dies, we will die. And if we carry on cutting down the Amazon rainforest, be right, we've already now reached a tipping point for the first time in Earth's history. How many times do I have to say it? I'll say it over and over and over again. For the first time in planet in the planet's history, right? Where this planet is four and a half a billion years old, so they say, right? But whether how old the earth is the earth is old it's been here for a long time to say the least and throughout all that time only now the first time in history the amazon rainforest is pumping is pumping out less oxygen than absorbing carbon dioxide i i will post a couple of articles in the description box below so you see, what I'm in what I'm intrigued by is excuse me when we have finally sorry or I sh should say when the Brazilians have finally obliter obliterated the Amazon rainforest where it will have detra it will have a devastating effects on our ecosystem. Then what? Because you'll still want to make money, or won't you? So what will your next target be then? Once you've totally absorbed all of the resources of the Amazon rainforest, when the rain when the rainforest has eventually been cut down, it then becomes an arid wasteland like the Sahara Desert, then what? You know, um, I've now become so alarmed. I've set up a partition. I created a part a a petition. Sorry, not a partition. A petition from the website change dot org. It's called. Please save the Amden Rainforest. I'll post that in the description box below as well for everyone to sign. The root, the love of a bunny is the root of all evil. And the way mankind is treating this planet is evil. Yes, God in, in Genesis, he did tell us to, to multiply on the earth. And to spread over the earth but he told us to take care of the earth he told us to look after the earth he didn't tell us to abuse its resources and he didn't tell us to destroy life on this planet to to such an extent where you're going to be having large extinctions 
but this isn't the first time many species have become extinct in the past because of uh, of the evil acts of uh, mankind the only thing i can say to to my brothers and sisters in christ is pray now to atheists out there saying that prayer is useless that won't stop people cutting down the arms in the rainforest okay fair enough but what else do you suggest we're fit we are physically powerless to do anything the only ones who can stop cutting down the arms and rain forests are the ones who are actually cutting down the arms and rain forests the only ones who can stop them is them themselves but it's not going to happen why because the love the the root sorry the love of a bunny is the root of all evil Pride walks, um, um, money talks. Please comment, please subscribe, please don't hesitate to hit that like a, a button, and uh, please don't hesitate to share this video. Oh, also as well, I just remembered one thing: talking about the burning of the Amazon rainforest, it can be it right. The fires are so immense, right? The fires are so vast that they can be seen from space. They can be seen from the International Space Station. Yeah. So try and put that into into your convention. This is how big the fu this is how big this is how much. A destruction is happening to the Amazon rainforest. Can you see me? It is absolutely appalling. And it's frightening. 